one of you fucking losers emailed me linking me a video that some guy made about me for some reason and I don't believe it's real. It's too perfect. I'm convinced that like this is this is like um a viewer of the stream trolling me by just like hitting all the buttons that they know that I would love. Like making like a fake video about me and just covering like all of the fucking hilarious um memes that I talk about on the stream and trying to make it seem like it's just by accident. So I'm 99% sure that's what this is. But either way, we're going to check it out right now. So it's like some, some, I don't know. I have no fucking idea what this is. It's a tiny, dumb YouTube channel that made a video about me. Thoughts on Bad Empanada. And um, we're going to check it out. It's going to be fucking fantastic. I, I, I got about... I think it was two or three minutes into this and I paused and I was like, okay, I need to react to this on stream for the first time because this is fucking hilarious. This is amazing. Anyways, with that out of the way, let's move on to the main topic of this video. The subject of today's episode is a why man- Why is there a waving American flag? By the name of George G Why is- why is he- The subject of the episode? Dude, you have episodes? Gantis. Better known Gantis? by his YouTube handle- Bad Empanada, a quick glance at his channel bio will explain who he is. Videos on history, politics, society, and culture covering a broad array of topics in way too much depth. Subscribe today. Uh, ben Empanada is a left-leaning YouTuber. I can't wait. I can't wait for him to get to the, the good part. It comes soon, I promise. Who was, I guess, part of the bread tube wave? He was like in the second wave. Like, I guess you could say Vosh. Oh no, he doesn't like Vosh, so that was a, that's a bad comparison for me to make. But anyways, like, even though his thing says like, Wide array topics. He mostly focuses on a pretty standard brand. Like, like, let's look at some of his videos. Why Pinochet apologists are wrong. Bolsonaro and Latin American fascism. Okay, let's see. And the next video was Abin Aboriginal Australian history. I don't know what the point is. Actually, no, no. I, I, I know what he's trying to say, but it's gonna, it's, it's gonna be so great. Just wait, just wait for you. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. and white guilt. Response to Stefan Molyneux. Why the U.S. is sending humanitarian aid to Venezuela. Venezuela, the true face of the opposition. Christ trick attack, they did this. Bread tube getting started guide, left us only. Bad up another 1,000 subscriber Q&A. Venezuela, race, class, English, and... Just like listing off like my videos in chronological order. The opposition. Australian unions suck and here's why. Australian election politics primary 2019. Gentrification, what is Peronism? Who did Che Guevara murder? But as you can see, there's a lot of other... Let's, let's look at some more things. Like, let's look a little bit afterwards. Nationalism, good or bad, complicated with Evo Morales in the thumbnail. Che Guevara, homophobic racist. Columbus, actually evil. Military coup against Bolivia's president. David Pakman is wrong about Bolivia. Situation in Bolivia and discussion of Latin American politics. Remembering Argentina's dictatorship. Bolivia is descending into dictatorship. Uh, the Chile protest in Pinochet's curse. Let me see how Cuba works. As you can see, he seems to have a general focus on Latin America politics in specific. Of course, that's not his only thing, as I've showed before. He's done other videos. His most recent videos are... How racism was invented, how the US inspired Nazis, cutting through the BS on Xinjiang. Now, of course, that's not the recent video, but I'm talking about the recent videos of uh, don't have anything to do with Latin America. Because, like, he does do other topics, but he also, but like I said, he primarily focuses on Latin America. Is that even true anymore? I don't, I don't think I've made a single video on a Latin American. I uh, know, there was the, the recent one, that was just because of the, of the news in Peru. Apart from that, I haven't made a single actual main channel video. Like, not these don't count because these are just like little short things that I made in like five hours. So it's been like one, two, three, four, five, six. I guess this one counts. This was also a pretty short video. But like the last video where I actually covered like Latin America was July last year. This one, a year and a half ago. Like the last long video. This one. So, um, yeah, no, not really. Now, believe it or not, that is both a good thing and a bad thing. Now, it's a good thing and a bad thing. I might say, how is that a good and a bad thing? Well, let me explain. You see, when he does this, it's of course good that he's making these issues well known, that there's this sort of veneer of like, oh yeah, he cares a lot about Latin American issues and all this stuff. That's very interesting. I do so. No, this, this guy doesn't, doesn't, he doesn't, no, he doesn't need editing. He has a fucking, dude, I just realized the logo. It's like a, why is there a square? with hats and it seems to be being interviewed by like an american fist symbol thing okay i gotta say um graphic design is not this guy's passion as well quite a number of politics youtubers will do this as well but one small thing that kind of this is probably very unintentional or could be very intentional there's a very good chance that he'll see this video and then respond to it so i want to make sure <laughs> everything's clear so that he doesn't misinterpret what i'm saying and i guess i, I wouldn't misinterpret what, what he's saying 
So basically, when he does this, it kind of makes it seem... Now, now I know, this, this is probably me reading into it, way too much into it, but from the fact that he primarily focuses on Latin American issues, made... It could just be... It could also just be me being stupid. This gets worse, by the way. It means that he could potentially be tricking people into thinking that he's Latin American. Now, why don't you... Not... That's so fucking funny. If you talk about a subject, you are tricking people into thinking you are, like, from the place of, of where, you know, like, from the country that you're talking about. If you talk about any place, aside from the place where you're from, that means that you are trying to trick people. And by the way, I am significantly more Latin American than any fucking monolingual American Latino who laughs like they're, like they're, like they're fucking Latin American or something. Just because, like, their great fucking grandpa was from Mexico, will ever be. So, I'm pretty fucking happy saying that. God, Americans are not okay. Americans are never okay. I necessarily mean Latin American, like Hispanic, Latin, or whatever. In fact, he moved to Argentina. That's how far he's willing to trick us. But I basically mean... The only reason why someone would ever want to move to a country is to, like, become, like, trans, trans, like, nationality, I guess? Trans identity? I don't know, I'm not going to say transracial because Latino is not a race. But um, I guess the only reason that anyone would move to Argentina is because they want to become, like, trans-Argentine. Like, I'm doing um, that, that, that English guy who wanted to become, like, not just Korean, but he wanted to be, like, a BTS member specifically. I'm that guy, but for Argentina. That's the only reason why anyone would move to um, Argentina. That's how it works. In a sense, like, he's this sort of, I mean... Just, I mean, if you look at a picture of him, it's like, he looks vaguely ethnic. Are Americans okay? Are Americans okay? He looks ethnic? <laughs> ethnic? What the fuck? <laughs> ethnic? Holy hell, what the hell? He looks ethnic. <laughs> Are Americans okay? Are you doing okay over there, guys? Do Americans think that, like... Like, um, only, like, white Anglo-Saxon Protestants don't have ethnicities and everyone else has an ethnicity. Is that how it works? Like, you don't have an ethnicity, but everyone else does, so they are ethnics. It's, you're either normal or ethnic, I guess. This guy, you know, he doesn't have an ethnicity, he's just normal. Me, I look ethnic. I mean, thank you, I'm flattered, I'd rather not be normal if normal is you. I love it. He talks very much about Latin American issues. But he seems to be hiding the fact that he's, like, not necessarily, like, he's hiding the fact that he's not Latino. <laughs> Are Americans okay with their obsession with the label Latino? Like, no one in Latin America is. Only Americans are. Like, Americans seem to think that, like, labeling yourself as Latino is, like, some sort of epic honor or something i i don't get it like how does this work in the first place right because i'm a fucking citizen of a latin american country i speak much better spanish i'm far far more embroiled in, in latin american culture than like any fucking monolingual english speaking latino in the u.s who thinks that latino is a race so how is it exactly if we're like entertaining this idiotic notion that Latino identity is even like a fucking thing and not just an embarrassing um, term invented by the US government because they needed a census category back in the 70s. If we assume that, how exactly would I not be just as much of a part of that or more of a part of that than some fucking American guy who's never even left his home state? Like, I would never identify as Latino because no one does that. No one does that. Outside of, like, weird Americans, no one does that. No one uses the term Latino except fucking Americans who are completely obsessed with this sort of shit. And they seem to, like, think it's, like, a race or an ethnicity or something when even if we accept that term should ever be used, which it shouldn't, please stop using it, it's not. Because in Latin America, there are people of all types, stripes, whatever, and grouping them all together under one ethnicity or race is so fucking dumb and stupid. There are Latinos who look like a Nazi propaganda poster. Man, he looks ethnic. Holy fuck. This is like, it's like a conspiracy theory. Bad Empanada is hiding the fact that he's not Latino. 
I can't. Let's see more of the evidence. This is around where I stopped watching. Uh, no, I stopped watching it like the ethnic part. When he used the word ethnic, that's when I knew I, ha- I had a fucking, um, I had a winner. That's, that's, at least that's how it came up to me because I was expecting like, a video where he said, like, I am not Latino or whatever. But why, why, why would you, if you talk about Latin America, are you obliged to, to make a video saying, hello, I am not Latino? Is, is that like a thing that you have to do? Has, has anyone ever done that before? Is that precedented in history? I fucking hope not. Holy shit, this is awesome. In a way, he did do it, but he also didn't do it. Because I guarantee you, there's, at the very least, this is just a common misconception that I'm clearing up. But basically, here's my evidences that he is not Latino. The biggest one- <laughs> We have evidence! <laughs> he did a whole fucking investigation here. ...ones come from, ironically, his Spanish-speaking channels. His first Spanish-speaking channel was Gringuinto, and- Wow, that, that is, um, that is American Latino Spanish right there, if I've ever heard it. His second Spanish-speaking channel, Gorsh, his title is Un Gringo Que Se Cree Especial Creo. Oh yeah, that, that, that is American Latino Spanish par excellence. Holy shit. I clap. I would clap, rather. Just imagine that I was clapping, but I'm fucking stunned. I can't move. Oh, su channel uh, espanol. Basically, now you might be wondering, Okay, what about what about it? The word gringo, the gringo part is what gets me. It's what turned. It was what basically caught my eye, because gringo is not a term that you would use if you were Latino, like because he's using those terms to refer to himself. Gringo is a term specifically used. American Latinos are gringos for one, absolutely one hundred percent. But for two, how how does it work that I'm I'm trying to mislead people into thinking I am Latino? But at the same time, I apparently just openly make videos where I say that I'm not. How, how does that work? <laughs> I, I'm to refer to people. No, this, this, this is why I, like, this was absolutely 100% made by someone who watches my channel just to hit all the buttons that they know that, like, I would fucking, like, have neuron activations for. This isn't real. This isn't real because I make fun of these fucking morons who are like, bad empanada, pretend Latino all the time. It's so fucking funny. It's, it's fucking who hilarious. Who are white, who are not of Latin American descent. Like, why? Oh, so you can either be of white or Latin American descent. That's it. You can't be um, both. You can only be one. White or Latin American descent. Whatever the fuck that means. Like, that's the whole point. Now, originally, uh, that, that could have just been me being like confused but i do have some slight suspicion that this is potentially something that he is playing up like maybe he's trying to at the very least <laughs> this is so fucking great insinuate that he has some latin in him because the you, latin in you what the fuck does that mean latin I, are americans okay do you need do you need to do some genetic studies on me to find the latin in me i you can't do that because latin isn't a thing it's not a it's not a genetic thing it's it's like a vague term that americans use to homogenize vastly different cultures it's not a thing you have some latin in you is my fucking grandpa julius caesar or something that's the only way that would make potentially make any sense because and this is another one that it could literally just be me reading way too much into it but i think like honestly like if you guys think that like I commissioned someone on Fiverr to make a fake video about me. You would be warranted because this really seems like it, doesn't it? It's because he also sounds ethnic. He sounds ethnic? This gets even... Sounds ethnic? Are Americans okay over there? (laughs) What does ethnic sound like? What the fuck is sounding ethnic? It's, that's so fucking funny, the way that this guy and apparently other people use the term ethnic. I first saw that like a few months ago, like Americans call them White rights, of ethnic. Course. And like, I realized, holy shit, these people think that like they don't have ethnicities and, and only other people do. And now it's like sounding ethnic too. So I guess sounding ethnic is when you don't sound like a generic American pencil neck nerd. There's no room. And I know this for there. a fact that it's not his real voice. Here's what? the voice that he puts on for his videos. That's right, it's the 10k subscriber special. Well, I actually have like 12,000 now, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, now, here- How is that not just my voice? Can someone explain how that's not just my voice? What? 
Here's a voice clip from another video that he did from really early on in his channel. What is disputed is what happened when the election results stopped being updated on that night. Once they were finally updated on the next day, Morales had 47% of the vote. Again, it could literally- They sound the same! What? What is disputed is what happened when the election results stopped being updated on that night. Once they were finally- Because he also- Let's listen to those again. Let's listen to those again. I cannot discern Not a single his real difference. Voice. This is hilarious. Here's stopped being updated on that night. This, this is an ethnic voice. Is this this is the official ethnic voice, dude? This is I'm not, we got some more voice clips out of this. This is awesome. J just this guy saying ethnic. Subscriber special. Well, I actually have like twelve thousand now, so that's cool, I guess. Okay, now here's a voice clip from another video that he did from really early on in his channel. What is disputed is what happened when the election results stopped being updated on that night. Once they were finally updated on the next day, Morales had forty-seven percent of the vote. Again, it could literally just be me, but he seems to, it seems to me like it sounds a lot more like he's putting on some sort of like vaguely ethnic sounding voice. What the fuck? How? I don't even know what to say to this. This is amazing. Ethnic sounding voice? Ethnic sounding voice? Ethnic sounding voice. Wow. Are there any more? Did you guys did you guys commission this from like a fucking acting professional? Come on, come clean. Who who did this? Come on. When he's doing his videos, now of course they could just be literally just be him. Like, dude, I'm just projecting my voice, which is fair. <laughs> I mean, he could do literally the exact same thing about me uh, then and me now. I'm and go like, oh, does this mean he was putting on a voice? But like that's that is technically neither here nor there. Like. Like, I mean, that doesn't necessarily detract from the actual content he posts, which, I'll be honest, relatively good. Like, I, like, I mean, he does really well video essays. They've been really well put together. They don't come out a lot, because that's the joke of video essays. They're like an hour long. Where's the, where's the, the ethnic man? White rights, of course. I have been accused of, of being fake ethnic. I am fake ethnic. The false ethnic allegations. I'm trans ethnic. Are Americans okay? Do Americans want like do they need, like any help and support? Like yeah, I mean I've been fucking destroyed. I've been proven a fake Latino right there. Does it have a transcript? I don't want to fucking watch all of this. I just wanna I just wanna read about how I'm ethnic. It just starts talking about Vosh. I'm only here for the ethnic allegations. Is that really it? Is there is that the last time that he used the word ethnic? Ah oh, no. Hold on. Let's go through all of the ethnic allegations here. But like he's putting on some sort of like vaguely ethnic sounding voice ethnic allegation one and it could literally just be me reading way too much into it but i think it's because he also sounds ethnic he sounds ethnic just like, i mean if you look at a picture of him it's like he looks vaguely ethnic he talks he very much vaguely ethnic are americans okay do americans need any help like, do you guys want to talk about anything? Do you like want to sit down and just let it all out? Like, tell us about these ethnics. Tell us about these ethnic sounding voices and these vaguely ethnic looks. Could you let us know a little bit more? I'll give you some fucking calipers if you, if you need them and you can maybe demonstrate it to me visually. Vaguely ethnic. I think what he means is that, is that I look, I, um, I look like a fat pizza character. I look like I could be on the cast of fat pizza. Maybe that's what he means. This was probably the greatest moment from Fat Pizza. This still. Not, not a single one of you in the chat has any fucking idea what this has to do with anything. Fat Pizza is the worst television show ever made about a Maltese guy pretending to be a Lebanese guy with like a bunch of like Yugoslavian guys pretending to be Greek and Italians. And everyone's a terrible actor making awful, awful jokes. But everyone, everyone in Australia loves it because it like... You know, it makes fun of, like, um, white Anglo attitudes towards just, like, Arabs and, um, like, Southern Europeans and stuff. I think what he means by ethnic is that I could be poorly from Fat Pizza. Fat Pizza cast. Look at him. Check him out. I look, I look like one of these guys. That's, that's, that's what he means. I could, I could um, be, like, a, stereo, a stereotype from The Sopranos or something, I guess. I guess that's what ethnic means to this fucking American. And I sound ethnic. AKA, I don't, I don't have like a fucking um, generic, generic American accent, you know, that says American, generic American things like, I think I'll use my credit card. Do you have anything gluten free? I'll do a, a, a double mocha latte with two pumps of vanilla. That is a, a non-ethnic American 
speech. Like the like the non-ethnic American, when when the non no, the non-ethnic American gets robbed, he he tells the police, "I believe I was robbed by a gentleman who may have been of African American descent." Though I though I assure you that me saying that has nothing to do with his race. It is a pure coincidence that I happen to be wronged by an African American gentleman. I would have voted for Obama three times if I could have. That is America. That is non-ethnic American speech. And then he says, "I think I'll use my credit card." Police officer, would you like a tip? I can pay your tip with my credit card. But yeah, I mean, ethnics. What else is there to say? I'm an ethnic. I'm an ethnic, uh, a fake ethnic, fake Latino. Voy a andar para allá porque soy bobo. I don't even know what to say about that. Aside from, I think I'll use my credit card.